starting out with mostly cloudy skies here across the immediate Des Moines metro area and much of central Iowa today. Uh, these clouds are kind of blowing off a thunderstorm complex in the parts of Nebraska, but there are no storms anticipated, at least here within the next few hours. The good news is it's keeping our temperatures cooler here as well. 79 degrees right now for wind out of the west at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Still pretty muggy out there too with the dew points in the mid 60s. We'll head up to Boone County right now. Overcast skies. You had a lot of rain yesterday. Currently the temperature there is 77. As we look at the uh, satellite and radar picture of a 12 hour forecast here throughout the remainder of this afternoon with those clouds filtering in that will hold our temperatures down when we make it into the mid 80s as opposed to those upper 80s before temperatures fall back into the 70s this evening and we can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm as well. You can see those clouds basically encompassing the southern two thirds of the state. Parts of northern Iowa are seeing a little bit more clearing and that will lead to a little more daytime heating. And I think our best chance for storms, at least today, will primarily be over our northern counties as we get into the afternoon and this evening. Temperatures across the upper Midwest are fairly comfortable, but that's not the case across the rest of the country. You see that big ridge of high pressure down to the south. Very hot temperatures. Death Valley, California forecasted to reach 130 later on this week. Now, now, the good news is with us being on the northern end of that, we're going to have these daily chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms as those systems kind of move in from west to east along the flow and the upper levels of the atmosphere. So today our rain chance is much lower than what we've seen the last couple of days, partly to mostly cloudy skies, but we'll have to keep an eye on northern Iowa, especially along and north of Highway 18 later this evening for a few isolated storms that could develop. Some gusty winds and some small hail will be possible with those. And you can see even through the evening and overnight hours, the best chance primarily resides up to the north. Now tomorrow a stronger system will approach from the west and that will increase our chance for scattered showers and storms as we get into the afternoon. A little bit more lift here with that so we'll see a higher coverage of that mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. I think after sunset here the best chance of thunderstorms will shift off to the southeast and then Saturday right now most of the day looks fairly dry but we can't rule out a stray shower or storm again with temperatures peaking in the mid 80s. Here's a look at the rainfall forecast. Again, not a whole lot like we've seen the last couple of days here, around a quarter of an inch to isolated amounts over one inch if you get under the right storm. So hopefully you do get those rainfall amounts that you need. Today, temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. Overnight lows will be back in the mid 60s with the best chance of storms off in our northeastern counties. Your eight day forecast, 50% coverage of those storms going into Friday, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. A chance of a stray shower or storm on Saturday. Saturday. Another front comes in during the day on Sunday. That'll bring in a chance for a few storms, but look at those temperatures early next week. Much cooler with highs in the lower 80s and overnight lows in the low 60s.